Good morning, friends. I am currently in Ontario and I'm so excited because my cousin-in-law has asked me if I wanted to go flying today. Which is kind of crazy because how often do you get asked if you just want to go flying this afternoon? I just finished getting ready and at grandma's house she has one task for me to do and then we are off. Okay, one thing, quick thing I feel I need to mention is since this pandemic, I feel like I'll have some others who are on the same page as me, so comment below if you are. I've definitely had increased situational anxiety, kind of going to any new cafe, new environment, um, car rides, especially if I'm in the backseat of a car because I'm always used to driving back in Vancouver. Um, I just get really nervous. My legs get shaky, I start to feel nauseous, I get like nervous pee, <laughs> and I'm really trying to overcome it because I wanna travel the world, I wanna do something, I wanna get out there. Ways I overcome it is I tell myself 10 more minutes, and that analogy seems to work, 10 more minutes till I can like use the washroom again or oh, I'm home, and that seems to like click my mindset to be able to actually continue the task I'm doing. So today with flying, I'm nervous. I have a stress ball, I have some breathing techniques, but gosh, we just gotta take advantage of the situation and how often is it that someone asks you, do you wanna go flying? So let's do this. Annie picked me up. We headed to the Collingwood Airport where I got to catch my cousin who flies helicopters taking one of his clients out. This is their incredible hangar. It's pretty awesome for someone who's not in aviation to walk into this kind of space where you see multiple planes and multiple helicopters right in front of you at your height. There's Pilot Annie. from clear is start you son of a baby to the runway but we did have to taxi for a little bit just waiting for other planes to land since it is a one strip airport
and he was just taking me around the town of Collingwood, which was pretty epic to see it from above. I've been to this town many times, but to see such a large visual of it really helped me to understand where different areas were. I also was laughing a little bit because she pointed out that there's the ski hill and to me that's not a ski hill having lived in Vancouver for 10 years and have Whistler and Squamish next door to us as well as the Rocky Mountains just a couple of hours away. This body of water is the freshest, largest body of water in Canada, and it's called Georgian Bay. The water is turquoise, see-through, it's quite gorgeous, I've swam in it, it's warm in the summertime, it's quite magical considering that Canada often has very cold water, and the ones I visited are usually glacier fed. started to turn the corner which to me felt like we were going quite sideways but probably really wasn't that much to head into the runway to land this will be the quickest descent ever thanks time lapse 